Emma Font here and welcome back to a brand new speed build. So today we are building a tiny house. This is one of my first or very early tries at building an actual tiny house. So it's interesting. I do like it. I think it's very unique and very unusual looking inside, but like it's difficult to make a tiny house. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like it's very, very difficult to make a house this small and actually make things fit in. So it's interesting, but it does end up being pretty crowded. So bear with me. I'll probably keep trying to make tiny houses, but um, this was an interesting first shot. Like I liked it. I liked it. I also had been planning on making this a starter home, but um, I was building this a few days ago when the interface was glitched. I don't even know what you call this, but you can see right now up in my left hand side, I have that little information thing dropped down. And for some reason it was glitching out a few days ago and it wasn't updating the lot value as you were building. So it does update like when you upload to the gallery or something like that. But I, yeah, I keep it up for a while because I hadn't really noticed that it wasn't updating, but it ends up being like way, way, it's not started. Like it's way over, but I wanted to do that. So that, that's why I have that kind of interface drop down. It's a little bit obnoxious in this part of the video, but I do end up closing it when I realize that it's glitching out and isn't updating. So it's definitely not starter home price point. I don't know what it came in at, but it's probably, I'm going to guess it's like around 50,000 simoleons. I'm not really sure. I'm completely guessing. <laughs> I should look these, thing these things up before I actually record, but eh, oh well. It is a tiny home, as I said, so you could fit a couple or just one sim in here quite easily. If you really, really wanted to, I might not recommend this, but if you really, really wanted to, you could probably shove in like a toddler bed. Um, you could definitely shove in a like bassinet for a child, a baby, um, not a child, a baby. If you really wanted to, like you could do that. You could also definitely fit a cat or dog bed if you wanted to add a cat or dog to this. I didn't include anything for pets, but there's some space that you could probably fit it. Like this is so small that I don't even have a dining room table. I just have bar stools, which also one of them has a computer on them, which is like probably not ideal because it means that there's only one seat that you could actually sit at a like a counter table and eat at. It's fine, but like, yeah, it's, it's quite tight. <laughs> um, I don't know. I really like how this place turned out. Like it's really quirky because I do these dark green counters in the kitchen and then I paint about half the walls, like a similar dark forest green. I haven't named this house yet, but I think I'm going to go with something like forest tiny home or something that sounds cooler than that because that doesn't sound cool. Naming houses is really hard, you guys. Like I don't know how people do it at all. It's just like, a, it's a weird, weird thing, but I like this house. It's very quirky and you know, like the dark, dark greens everywhere and some of these really cool light fixtures from movie hangouts I think are so cool. Like I, they're so different from anything I would probably get in real life, but I think they're really neat with these like lanterns and there's that one that's um the candles that have all kinds of different candle holder bases. I think those are so cool. Like I would like at least candles like that in real life. I would really like, I don't know that I would ever put these kind of hanging lantern things in my house, like maybe outside, which is, I think is kind of the intention that they had with them anyway, when the designers at Sims team were making those as they kind of thought of them as like outside hanging lanterns turns, which I do like, but yeah, I was struggling for a little while figuring out all of the wallpapers and the flooring types that I wanted to go for here because I knew I wanted to keep this dark green because I loved how that looked next to the counters. And then I knew I kind of wanted a couple of different walls, something more interesting, like the brick behind the kitchen counters. And then I didn't know what I wanted in this last bit. I ended up keeping this kind of just brown stucco-y kind of looking stuff, which I do like. Like it's pretty neutral. I use that wallpaper a lot in my builds because it has a little bit of texture. It's not just plain, like a flat rendering color, but it's so simple too. You know, it's so neutral. You can almost match it with anything. So I like how it turns out, but I struggled for a long time figuring out what to do there. Cause I also knew I wanted hardwoods and I wanted to like another kind of interesting feature wall that would be a neutral color, but might be more interesting. So I was, before you saw, like I was looking at all of those different like wood paneling type things. I like how it turned out, but it was, it took a little while to actually get here. So it did work out well. Yeah, the kitchen's not terribly realistic in terms of storage. I mean, there's enough, there's like, there's plenty of stuff for a sim to do everything a sim would need to do. But if you actually lived here, like you wouldn't have any food storage pretty much. Like you have no pantry, almost nowhere to put your pots and pans. Like it would be a challenge to actually live in this house. 
I don't think I could live in a tiny house. I think it would just be too small for me. Like I would feel too frustrated being cramped. What do you guys think about that? Would you guys ever live in a tiny house? Like I know there's something to be said for having a smaller house. It's usually less expensive. So like obviously there's a lot of arguments for it and it's such a trendy thing to do is like, you know, just get a tiny house so you can pay off completely and just live your life after that. So like I get it, but I think it'd be too small for me. Tell me what you guys think. Like, tell me if you'd ever live in a tiny house. Because I'm really interested in people who would choose to do that. Like, why that trade-off makes sense to them. Because, like, I have to have, you know, space for my computer and space for, like, my TV for those kinds of video games and stuff like that. And, like, I like my massive bed. Like, I like having enough space to kind of spread out and relax. Like, that's what makes me happy in my home. So I couldn't really do that, but I think it's very interesting how trendy and like how many people nowadays like want really small homes. So let me know if you guys would ever, if you do, if you live in a tiny house, like tell me, I'm so fascinated by that. Or if you would ever want to do that, like in the future or something like that. We get a ton of gardening stuff in around this house. I didn't love the exterior look of the house from like a lot of different angles. So we use a bunch of greenery to kind of cover up the more awkward looking sides of the house. House. Part of it I think is really cool. Like I really like how it looks in the end, but there's a lot of kind of awkward, like just that kind of flat brick wall with nothing going on. So we use a bunch of greenery to cover that up. And I'm also, you guys are going to see towards the end of this video, I'm being such a freaking perfectionist at this terrain painting. Like it looks right at the end because I'm go over it's yeah I get way too into it and like making everything perfect so I might cut a little bit of that out for you guys or something we'll see but I was definitely being quite the perfectionist so yeah there's a ton of gardening stuff in here there's not a bunch I think there's only one actually um like gardening box like um the interactive ones I, th I think everything else is just like plants from build mode as opposed to buy mode but there's plenty of space if you guys wanted to add in more gardening stuff we also get a really fun yoga mat down in this little like I wouldn't call it like what if you call a basement walkout basement area I wish that seemed more like a hill like I wish that we had terrain editors that's not what I forgot what you call it in sims I'm thinking of other games I play and like what you call it there but anyways I wish we could have built this like on a hill so that the front of the house was level and then the back of the house like the ground would be at that lower level but we can't do that in sims 4 which is unfortunate but that was kind of the idea i was going for for there so imagine that if you're looking at this house that's what i wanted to do yeah we do so much so much gardening outside it's very green and festive that was kind of like my theme for this house it's like a lot of greens that's why we go with that really dark dark green in the house and have a bunch of plants around we get quite a few plants in the house too considering how small it is anyway so very green very fresh that's not the word i wanted what, what word do i want oh no i can't think of what word i want some word like that some word meaning green and fresh i don't know Oh no, I can't remember it all. Anyway, we're getting some lights out here, <laughs> brightening it up. We do put a ton, a ton of lights around in the garden just to make sure that it seems like you can see all of the, the gardening stuff that we have because I like doing that. I think it really adds a sense of realism to the house to have a bunch of exterior lights because you know, most people that have gardens, like especially they have gardens that are this manicured, they would have quite a few lights out there. So I kind of wanted to reflect that and have it be really bright and like, you know, you could actually spend time out side even at night so you have enough light to kind of do that because I feel like it's difficult in sims to get that balance correct so that it looks realistic for someone just to hang out outside of their house in the middle of the night so I don't know moving on to the bottom floor the basement which is where we have our one bedroom and one bathroom it is a pretty big space considering this is a tiny house so like it's a good size bedroom which is nice. Like it would be lovely to have this big of a bedroom if you actually lived in a tiny house. I also wish that we could do things like lofts when we were building tiny houses because most of the tiny houses that I've seen in pictures and whatnot have their beds up in a loft and they don't have like a fully separate room, but we don't have the ability to do things like that in The Sims, unfortunately. So it ends up being pretty big in this space. But yeah, as you guys can see, like there's certainly space to put, maybe you could squish a toddler bed like under the stairs or something. We put like a chair and a dresser over there. So you could probably force it, but it would be tight to get in another bed for a child. But you could definitely get another bed for a pet if you wanted to have a pet in here. I do like this house. Like it's very eclectic. Like just the really dark green is, and with like the brick and all of that is very interesting to me. I like that look. 
but I feel like it's very difficult. Like, I feel like it's just so unique that it's you're unlikely to find that in real life because people wouldn't want to paint their house like a dark, dark color like that. Because it is also harder if you paint your house really dark, it makes the whole house feel dark. And a lot of people want to avoid that. Like they're looking for that bright and airy kind of look. So I like it in certain senses. Like I think that it looks very intriguing and very interesting, but it's so hard to get the balance right because I feel like you need so much natural light to counteract the darkness of the walls if you're going to paint your walls really dark. So I don't know. I was thinking about painting a room in my house actually like a dark green color like this because it does get quite a bit of light, but I don't know if I'm going to because I'm. it's a small room though too. So I'm worried that if I paint it really dark, even though it gets a bunch of light, the darkness is going to make that room feel even smaller. So that's something I'm considering. I haven't decided yet. If I do paint it, it'd be hard to get it to get back to the, it's like basically painted white right now. It's kind of like a, a slightly greenish white, but mostly white. I like the color green in my home, clearly. <laughs> We're just about wrapping up with the interior of the house. We'll do some more gardening and some more just ridiculous amount of terrain painting before we get to screenshots. But yeah, I like how this house turned out. Like, I think I could live in here. I think I would get bored of this kind of house just because it is so particular. And like, it's such a specific aesthetic that you couldn't really, like, if you wanted to change things up and like have a variety of decor that you kind of switch through, you couldn't really do that in this type of house just because it's a very particular and specific style. So I like this style a lot, but I tend to decorate um, in ways that I can kind of switch through things a lot. You know, like if I want to switch my paintings around or if I want to switch my vases or like my throw pillows around, that's how I typically like to decorate just because, you know, if you switch things like that, like it's such a cheap way to make your space look different. If you just put like a different color pillow out and like if you, you know, I don't know. So that's how I typically decorate, which you really couldn't do if you're going to paint your walls like dark emerald green because then you're kind of stuck with that color scheme. So I like it, but certainly wouldn't be something I'm likely to do in my real house just because it is so particular. We do get actually quite a few skill building things in this house considering how small it is. So we just saw the yoga mat go in. We also have a guitar and we do have this gardening pot that we can see at the front of the house, kind of by the trash can that we had stuck in a little while ago. So we have all of those. We have a computer to do anything that you need with that. Yeah, so you know, it really has everything you need, even though it's a pretty small house. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you guys like this house. Let me know if you guys wanna see more tiny houses, cause they are interesting. But yeah, that just about wraps this up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know if you guys like this. It is available for download on the gallery right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below, and I will see you all next time. Bye.